I love to tell you about beautiful flowers and great plants for Louisiana landscapes, but not everything in gardening is always beautiful as you can see here with this shrub. This is a Florida anise shrub. It's native to Louisiana. I planted it here in my woodland garden thinking it would be a perfect location for it. Obviously the best laid plans don't always work out and this shrub is dying on me. What's happening is a condition called root rot. Fungal organisms that live in the soil are attacking and killing the roots of this shrub. Now it doesn't happen all at once. Sections of the root system die as it goes along. You can see that this section died earlier, this section has died recently, and there are even some sections that are still hanging on and these are connected to the parts of the root system that are still functioning. This will oftentimes occur when plants are planted with too little drainage and I think the heavy clay soils that I have here are what's causing this condition with this Florida anise. Now what can you do about this when you begin to see it? Not a whole lot. It's very difficult to treat the root system of a plant growing in the ground. The roots are not accessible. We don't know where they are. And if you poured a drench of a fungicide, and there are fungicides labeled to control root rots, but if you poured that fungicide around it, you have no control over where it actually goes. So I've generally found that trying to drench these plants doesn't usually help them out very much. Now if a section of it survives, a plant will sometimes recover and regrow from that one little section. So keep an eye out on that and don't give up on a plant until it's actually totally gone. But again, a very bad condition, oftentimes fatal, can be avoided with the right plant in the right place in your landscape. Forget it growing. I'm Dan Gill with the LSU Ag Center.